Hi, <sighs> welcome to the 10 year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. Holy shit, where did the time go? Today, we're gonna be playing FNAF 1. Uh, the game that started it all. I don't know how this small game blew up into all that, but it has been an, an extreme burden on my bank account, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make today. The point is, I'm very grateful for this game. It has definitely changed my life. I've met a lot of people through that game, although I don't talk to most, most of those people anymore. I'm still grateful for having those memories and making some friends. And today, we're just going to play the game and just talk. I'm just going to talk about my parts of my life that's just kind of happened because of this game or something like that. I don't know. So we're, we're going to do the sixth night. I tried to do... Um, I was gonna, I was gonna do the fifth night, but apparently I'm I'm on night two right now because I played it a while ago. So sixth night it is, and I don't know what the stuff is for custom night. So yeah, I have beat this game. I have beat 2020 20, 20 mode. Um, it's it's not that bad from what people say. It's actually really it's not that bad. It's hard for sure, but you know it's not. It's really not the worst thing. This is going to be very hard to talk while playing. My strat is just both doors, Foxy and Freddy on the cams. Both, door both doors for Bonnie and Chica, and then check cams for Foxy and Freddy. Because obviously Foxy is stalled by the cameras, and so is Freddy. I don't know how many people know that, but Freddy is also stalled by the cameras. And obviously, once once Freddy's at the right corner, it just becomes such a bitch to deal with. And that's why 2020 mode is pretty hard, but, you know, it's not as hard as people think. And this is it. This is the night. <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing. I remember when I was first introduced to this game, it was at a restaurant. I was traveling with some friends and family, and my sister and her friend introduced me to this game on their phone, because this is when it was first, oh, hi Bonnie, first put on mobile. Five Nights at Freddy's was on their screen, and they, they described it being, you know, horrifying, because it was back then. Now we're all desensitized to it. And I got it on my iPad when we got back home, and I was just kind of hooked. I watched. That's how I got introduced to like Markiplier and maybe even Jack Sepaguy. I think I knew Jack Sepaguy. No, I found out Jack Sepaguy. I found out about Jack Sepaguy through Goat Simulator, but Markiplier was through Five Nights at Freddy's, which is you know very happy about that because Mark's one of my favorite YouTubers. Bonnie again. And ever since then, I've just been hooked on this game. Every single game that's come out, I've been excited about. And now I finally have a PC of my own and an expensive VR headset to play any new game that comes out. Because, you know, watching YouTubers play it got a little sad after a while. Bonnie. Because, you know, I really wanted to play the game for myself. But I couldn't. And some games stopped coming to mobile, like obviously Pizza Sim took a while to get to mobile, and of course Security Breach, no way that's going on mobile. I still see people online, I'm assuming that they're just kids who don't know any better, but they're like, oh, when is Security Breach coming to mobile? Bro, that game is like 80 gigabytes on my computer. <laughs> it's like the biggest game I have. It's not coming to mobile, there ain't no way. I'm surprised I even got help wanted on mobile, but even then, it's like a very, it's a much, it's a much smaller version um, of what it is on, on the VR. But this is how we saw Princess Quest. There's Chica. Yeah, see the strat here? Foxy has not started peeking out, and Freddy's still on the stage. So yeah, this is the strat. This is what I like to do. Let's talk about this this channel. What's next? Obviously, you guys have seen the plushie videos, the two new recent ones. 
Thank you for the support on those, by the way. Check this shit out. What? Those are like, like, I know that some of my costume videos have gotten a lot more, like the spring trap one. But dude, that is, those are massive just for some stuffy videos, so I appreciate that. Thank you for over 400 subscribers. Obviously, it's not like, you know, a million or something, but I was never expecting to even get to 100, so that is crazy. I want to get 3 a.m. before we go under 50%. I think I might need to slow down a little bit. Stop leaving my lights on. Okay. This is bad. It has been a while since I've played this game. Okay, now it's 3 a.m. So we might have to wait for the power to go out. And then maybe Freddy can be nice and sing his song for a little bit longer. So yeah, thank you for the support on the channel. A Halloween video is coming on Halloween, of course. It's gonna be different. Ooh, there's Foxy. Um, it is gonna be different this year. I'm gonna do a lot more, obviously. You know, just one costume still, but like, I'm thinking some like props, like heads of different characters. It's gonna be movie themed, the FNAF movie. So yeah, you'll see that. Let's talk about that movie. That was a damn good movie. I fucking love that movie. Hi, Chica. And Bonnie, fuck, they're all here. Okay. That movie was fucking awesome, dude. I loved it. A lot of at first it was kind of like mixed feelings. I didn't really, eh, I did not really enjoy the fort scene at first, but then you know I was like, wait a minute, no, that actually made sense. People, a lot of people don't realize they're just kids, like they are. They're literally just children in big metal suits, which obviously sucks for them. But I'm sure that building a fort is you know awesome for them. So at first I didn't really get it, I thought it was just cause, you know, sometimes this series can be a bit of a joke, but it made sense in the end. They're, they're just kids. Anyway, I really, I love the movie. I love this franchise as a whole, man. I've been with it, maybe not since day one, but pretty damn close. You know, whenever Mobile was put on, whenever Mobile was released, whenever, the, whenever, whenever this game was released for Mobile, that's when I... That's when I started to play it. Which I don't think was that long after it was first released. Bonnie, get off my ass! Dude! There we go. I might die. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this franchise. I've met many people. I've, ugh. I love I loved this game. Obviously, Security Breach was a bit of a flop, but... It's not the worst. It could have been a lot worse. This, there's been a lot of controversies over the years. Lots of drama. Fiznom and FNAF Plus and Theft King. All that stuff. But in the end, it's just a series about spooky bear possessed by a child coming to get you. Ugh. I think I'm cooked, chat. Um... Might have. I'm kind of playing this a little too well. I went full, like, 2020 mode on this, just because I'm so focused on talking. And now it's 5 a.m. Okay, fuck Freddy. We don't. We don't need to check on Freddy. He's not gonna get there in time anyway. I'm thinking. Yeah, there's Freddy, but that's that's fine. I'm gonna pull a risky move. Let's just hope that Foxy doesn't come in. And let's just talk in the meantime to distract myself from the inevitable thing that's running down the hallway. I love this game. I will forever love this game. If you can tell, my room is covered in the shit. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> um, this game is great. I'm gonna stick with it forever. Okay, power's out. We have a chance. A very small, small chance. Let's just hope that Freddy does not 
um, ram his microphone up her ass. Yeah. There will be more on this channel. I have an Instagram now. Um, I had one before, but I forgot, I forgot the password. Here it is. We did it! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Yes, we did it! Good job, sport. We did it. Good job, guys. An extra 50 cents. We earned that shit. Uh, this music. I love it. Frey didn't even come. He didn't even... He didn't even... <laughs> Frey didn't even, like, go to the door and start playing this. Can we be Friday to Friday? Yeah! Yeah! We did it! I love this game very much. Um, go follow my Instagram if you want. That's just FNAF stuff. I think I posted something about an older Instagram a few years ago, but that's said now. I, don't, I think I might have deleted the video. I don't know. Anyway, go follow that if you want. That's where I post some stuff, but like costumes and blender animations, which I don't post a lot, but uh, yeah. Go check Twitter if you haven't checked that, because um, all the while I've been recording this, I've just been seeing notifications because I'm recording this on my phone. I don't, I don't have a webcam. This is a very janky set setup. I haven't seen notifications pop up from Scott Games Twitter. Go check it out. There's some cool shit. Lots of movie stuff. I'm very excited. This week has been awesome. I have played Into the Pit in five laps. Into the Pit was awesome. I just finished it this morning. Five laps. Very broken game, but I have a lot of fun. Um, it's better on, on a controller. Use controller, definitely. The keyboards are awful. Um, obviously, very unpolished, very glitchy, buggy. But if you, if you just like look past that, and if you play well, stay on the track. Don't fall off, stay on the track. It's so much fun. It has a lot of potential and I'm really excited for when it comes out fully next year. It's gonna be great. Yeah, cause I play Mario, I play Mario Kart a lot. So this is awesome. They need more characters. They, okay. They need, they need, they need Roxy in the game because it's, you know, in Security Breach, she's literally like, it's Ro Roxy Raceway. What the, where is she? And we need the rest of the, the glam rocks too, obviously. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all for the support. There will be more final thoughts. This game, it's as simple as it is, as cringe as it can be. It's really impacted my life, as you can tell. It's also impacted my bank account, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, I'll forever stick with this game. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. It's just kind of a coping thing but i love this game i'll always love this game love the merch i'll keep making videos for you guys if i feel like it thanks for the support follow my instagram happy 10 years at freddy's i can't even believe i'm saying that 10 years that went by so fast so many good memories from playing this on my ipad in, the, in like my mom's car riding to school or something to getting to watch it on the big screen and actually experience it on a VR headset. This game is spooky. This game is packed with lore, as messy as the lore is. I love this game, and I'll always love this game. So thank you guys for watching. There's some videos being cooked up, some plush videos. Hopefully you guys will like that. An old friend from some very chaotic video that you guys might have seen a long time ago. He'll be making a return. Played by my sister, of course. And I'm thinking of adding Sun and Moon to the series too, and other characters slowly. Like FNAF 2 and Security Breach and stuff, anyway. Cool stuff to look forward to. Happy 10 years. Go look at Twitter and see all the cool stuff that's been happening. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the whole fan base. And yeah. Thank you to Scott Cawthon for these amazing 10 years. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now, so thank you guys for watching. <laughs>